In the northwest of Italy, in the region of Liguria, at the feet of the Apennine Mountains, lies the port city of Genoa. Here, the violin virtuoso and composer Niccolo Paganini was born in the year 1782. In his memory, the city has preserved his favorite violin, Il Canone. Paganini grew up in view of the harbor of the city, rich in historical and architectural cultural heritage. It was his city, his home, dynamic Genoa. Here lies the origin of Paganini's significance to the history of music, his unrivaled technique, his innovations, and his numerous compositions for the violin. Paganini passed away in 1840. He bequeathed his violin, built in 1743 by Giuseppe Guarnieri del Gesù, to his native city, Genoa. The instrument, preserved as a museum piece, was carefully restored in 1937. Since then, the signature of the restorer can be found next to that of the maker, Guarnieri, deep in the innards of the violin. Born in 1927, a renowned violin maker and an authority in the field of restoration, Maestro Renato Scrollavezza works in the tradition of the Cremonese school. In 1988, the municipality of Genoa appointed him as the curator of the Guarnieri violin, which, due to its powerful sound, Paganini called Il Canone, my cannon. In the 17th and 18th century, the craft of violin making experienced a golden age in Italy. To date, instruments of Amati, Stradivari, and Guarnieri are still unsurpassed. The famous Guarnieri violin, Il Canone, is preserved in a special display case at the Palazzo Turzi in Genoa. The unique permission to play this exceptional instrument was granted in 1997 to the Dutch city of Maastricht. However, for the concert in Maastricht, contact had to be established first between Il Canone and its musician, violinist Shlomo Mintz. Jointly with Maestro Skrilovetsa and his former apprentice, master violin maker Matthijs Heiligers, Shlomo Mintz will work on the violin painstakingly for two weeks in order to extract what it has kept hidden for so long. The sound of Niccolo Paganini. Comunque non, su, il suo lavoro di Guarneri non c'è, quello famoso. Con, la sgorgia, no, sì. Il segno della sgorgia. Sì. Come c'è qui? Qui c'è. Eh. Sì. Molto interessante.
much. We need no to problem. Help. Thanks. I'll, I'll take care of it. Thank you. You want to throw away these strings or? Yeah, we throw it away. Yeah? I suppose, unless they want to keep it uh, in the museum. Okay. They don't throw away. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. It's all in the documents. Probably. Right. Bueno, perfecto. Sì, esatto. Non va bene, ci facciamo. Bene, sì. Ok. Siamo lì, non c'è tanto spazio, però ci eh. siamo. Ma è cortissimo, è la cassetta eh. dei fiori, mm. è una cosa molto estrema. È riccio, molto grande, spaziosa. La corda sotto, eh. Bisogna distribuirla magari un po'. Hey. No problem, go ahead. Veramente fine fine. Fine fine. È un giorno particolare. Ah, lo so dove. Ah, è la corda che non tocca, che si tira. È eh, qua. One of Paganini's villas is located in the peaceful hills, far from the hustle and bustle of Genoa. As a violin virtuoso and a composer, he was very wealthy. He left behind a sizable oeuvre, his famous 24 caprices and his very difficult to play first violin concerto are considered to be the highlights of this oeuvre. Il Canone would become not a silent, but rather a clamorous witness of Paganini's many innovations in violin technique. The introduction of so-called double flageolets, left-hand pizzicati, intervals of more than two octaves, and new bow techniques. Paganini enjoyed an overwhelming success throughout Europe. Possiamo essere felici per oggi, sì. 
Mi ha fatto un bel lavoro già, eh? Già. Grazie. Grazie a lei. No, no, grazie. Night is falling in Genoa. Tomorrow, after a week of intensive work, everything will be readied for the unique trip to the Netherlands of the violin insured for millions, Niccolò Paganini's Il Canone. Allora tutto a posto? Questo è il L'hanno fatto tutto organizzato? Perfetto, no? Hello. 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 Okay. 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 Okay.
תראה איך זה נשמע מצלצל פה. Can we do pap pap pam? Pap pap pam. Io ho fatto così un accostamento, non so se possa per dare l'idea ai dilettanti, sì. ai profani. La Ferrari, Schumacher. Ah, vedi. E io meccanico. <ride> meccanico. No, no, ma non c'è. <ride> ma grazie, no, grazie per il complimento. Un... Sì. Una sintesi. Sì, sì, tanto per dire. Sì. Profani, insomma. Comunque è un lavoro... Beh, il rumore de, de la, de la, del motore di questa macchina ha cambiato molto. Sì. Penso. Io personalmente penso di sì, perché è diventato più, eh, più soprattutto più... Ehm, cerco adesso la parola... Ehm, possibile a suonarlo, a suon più vicino di noi, era, era veramente lontano nel punto di vista di suono, era quasi suono barocco, quello suono famoso di, di Paganini, era noi che abbiamo cambiato, il, non possiamo cambiare il carattere di violino, però possiamo metterlo in condizioni per suonarlo, e questo che trovo che abbiamo fatto molto molto bene. Sì, sì, io sono rimasto molto soddisfatto perché lei l'ha capito e ha cercato insieme a me naturalmente di portarlo al massimo. Sì, sì. Maastricht is preparing for an exceptional event, a historical concert performed by a prodigious violinist on an unrivaled instrument. In the theater on Het Freithof, the moment has finally arrived. The first violin concert of Paganini on Il Canone.
In the northwest of Italy, in the region of Liguria, at the feet of the Apennine Mountains, lies the port city of Genoa. Here, the violin virtuoso and composer Niccolo Paganini was born in the year 1782. In his memory, the city has preserved his favorite violin, Il Canone. In 1988, the municipality of Genoa appointed him as the curator of the Guarnieri violin, which, due to its powerful sound, Paganini called Il Canone, my cannon. In the 17th and 18th century, the craft of violin making experienced a golden age in Italy. To date, instruments of Amati, Stradivari, and Guarnieri are still unsurpassed. The famous Guarnieri violin, Il Canone, is preserved in a special display case at the Palazzo Turzi in Genoa. The unique permission to play this exceptional instrument was granted in 1997 to the... Paganini passed away in 1840. He bequeathed his violin, built in 1743 by Giuseppe Guarnieri del Gesù, to his native city, Genoa. The instrument, preserved as a museum piece, was carefully restored in 1937. Since then, the signature of the restorer can be found next to that of the maker, Guarnieri, deep in the innards of the violin. Born in 1927, a renowned violin maker and an authority in the field of restoration, Maestro Renato Scrolovezza works in the tradition of the Cremonese school. Here lies the origin of Paganini's significance to the history of music, his unrivaled technique, his innovations, and his numerous compositions for the violin. Paganini grew up in view of the harbor of the city, rich in historical and architectural cultural heritage. It was his city, his home, dynamic Genoa. <laughs> 